But so in your own words, just say, you know, what, what, what does it mean to you to have the Bible in your own language? It gives, uh, if you're looking for comfort it, and familiarity and like something that's like balances us, like mm. I think uh, it helps because someti sometimes um, we need to hear the stories and in the, our language because our grandfather spoke in the language. And they shared stories and legends, and the Bible was familiar because of the morals and values that uh, connect with God and the Creator, and that connects all of us, especially in times of like hardship and mm. even in celebration. It uh, it helps us uh, describe the feeling, or sometimes a good like story from the Bible helps us uh, describe how we're feeling in the moment when it's maybe grief or just reminders that we're here for a short amount of time but that we're very loved and that we're valued and there's somebody watching out for us no matter how much that we could like mm -hmm. we could go to that there's somebody that sacrificed because mm. sacrifice is the biggest thing that uh, helps us like shows us how important we are to to uh, somebody out there which is creator and god and and it really it, re it reminds us how much like your mother or your father loves you like they give life and the meaning of life and how how um, how much we were wanted and how much we are valued and uh, it reminds us in times of crisis too that there's a reason we're here mm. and uh, so it really I think it helps the for uh, a flu, like a speaker, native speaker, to connect in another level. Even if you know English. Yeah, it's like there's some words when uh, we pray just now, like it really spoke to me in here mm. when it said in the sky. Mm -hmm. <laughs> To have the Bible in the Nascapi language, what has that meant for you personally? Well, personally, for me, it's um, it's very important, and I I I am very happy that I'm starting to because I never did. Mm. My dad read the Bible every day, but I was never involved. Mm. I just started reading it. And it makes a lot more sense in my language, in my everyday vocabulary. Mm -hmm. And for, like from English to Nuskapi, when I read, there's more sense in my language than I understand it in English okay. sometimes. And uh, it has given me a, a lot to think about about it, mm. that I'm involved in there now, and I'd like to continue to do it until I cannot. And uh, I was never taught, well, I never knew how to write or read the language, mm. just orally. And now I haven't attempted yet to write it. Just reading it is, uh, was hard. But you, but I'm, like yesterday, you yeah, did. Like I have after you did fine, yeah. But uh, like I said, I didn't read it during the mm -hmm. time because I was on the move all the time. Uh, but uh, it it also brings uh, great pleasure to for the elders that are remaining to see it. 
Mm. Because that was their vision back in the time right. when I spoke with Joe and Philip, mm. the late uh, elders, it, that it was important for us, the young people then, to learn their language. So the it, you just don't l speak your language, mm -hmm. you have to read and write it, just like we were taught in English, yes. a second language. And the Scopi has now the New Testament, Genesis, Exodus, and the Psalms. Mm -hmm. But there's still a lot oh, of, course, of work yeah. to do. There's a lot of work to do. And uh, what's the word to use? Inspire? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was Kyle. Was. Kyle being able to read. That door it? there, there was that uh, welcome mm -hmm. poster right. of Jesus. And uh, like he was, what, five, six years mm -hmm. old? And I said, uh, I'm running your water, you're going to take a bath, because I was taking care of him. And uh, I was in a washroom, and I heard him talk. Mm -hmm. So I came out, I said, what are you doing? Who are you talking to? He said, I was reading that. I said, what? That? I said, in English? He said, no, I'm just happy. <laughs> that tears in my eyes. Mm -hmm. I said, can you read? He said, yeah, they teach us in school. And she was, he was, what, grade one? Yeah. I mean, kindergarten, maybe grade one, in one of those. And that's where uh, the inspiration came. Yeah. I really have to. So I'm going to have more grandkids growing up, yeah. <laughs> the language. And, uh, yeah, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to do anything besides yeah. what I'm doing now. Yeah. You know, it's very calm, it's very peaceful. Yeah. I like it. I like to learn. When you read in English, it, it's not as, like, you don't absorb it as much, you cannot. But when you read it in the Skapi, it's, uh, it's personal. Mm. You know what it means for you. That's what I said. That's good. That's important. Did you say? Um, so tell me why you read the Bible. Read the Bible. Um, you said you never read it before. I never read it in Ascapi. I read it in English because I st had to study it for uh, one of my classes, the Old, the Old Testament. But when I read it in my language and I understood it, I, I, um, I went out and explained it to somebody. Like, um, I said, I uh, explained it in my language too, which was like, and, and for me, it was really, uh, um, I was happy, you know, to be able to explain it in my language and uh, that I understood it too, made me, uh, I don't know, me open it. <laughs> what if you just told Edna in your own language, what you just told me? An Ascapi Bible, a Bible in my own language, which I had looked down for more than 20 years. Mm. And I'm so happy to have it in my own language So because most people here don't read English, mm. any other language besides an Ascapi. So I'm happy to have that in our own language so the people can uh, read and learn who God or Jesus is.
mm -hmm. in your language. And uh, like, and also to preserve our language, mm. not to learn, not to lose our language, and that more, and also that more kids can read the Scabby language, read the Bible, and learn, learn what the Bible says, study the Bible in their own language. And I have, I am very proud to have that, to have done that work. Given to me by God, I would say, given to me by God. And I'm still not done yet. I will continue as long as I can, all my life. Can you imagine what it would be like to not have the Bible in your language? Oh, yeah. Can't imagine. <laughs> if we didn't have the language, the Bible in our language, the elders wouldn't be, wouldn't know who hmm. God was if nobody told them about God. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't know who, the, who Jesus is. They wouldn't know anything about the Bible. Mm. There was no Bible in our language. And I'm so happy that God sent Bill here to start this project. And thank for us, I'm thankful, thank also to Reverend forgot his name there. Phillips. Phillips. Reverend Phillips, yep. Also helped with this. And most of the elders that helped with the to translate my the Bible into a, a my language. Most elders who helped me have passed on. Mm. I've gone home to our Lord, gone home to our heavenly, heaven, gone home to heavenly home. <coughs> there were many who helped me doing this job to make the Bible accurate, natural, and understandable using the words that sometimes I have the difficulty with I asked the elders, "How would I say? Mm. How would I say? How would I say this? How would I write it down?" So they helped me, and I'm so. There's still some more. I wish there's some more who would join in to do the work, so the whole body would be done earlier than sooner than later. If I can't understand uh, the English, I go to the Scappy. If you had one wish for your community, uh, what would that be? To have the whole Bible in their hands. Hmm. That's my wish. I wish we had that book now. Mm -hmm. The whole, the whole Scappy, the whole Bible in the Scappy language. Now it's Scappy language. Yeah. I hope there would be more. Yeah. Then I hope they will get interested in interested in doing this kind of work, mm. the, the the Bible translation. Yeah. I just hope we have more more translators.